Hey everybody, this is Ty, Tower, uh, Ty Terrell with IFAST University, and I just want to spend a couple minutes and, and tell you guys uh, what the squat means to me. Uh, I think a lot of times because of the just popularity of the squat, it's, it's, it's one of the core lifts, if not the one of the core lifts uh, we do with, with our athletes and clients, um, it, it's easy to default to you know how much uh, we squat as the measurement of how good of a squat you have uh, or necessarily like how pretty your squat is uh, body weight or something like that but the reason I squat with my athletes is I want to see a couple of things I want to see how much uh, or how well they hold up against external load and so I want to see if they can control position at the you know at their thorax their spine uh, their you know their pelvis their knees everything down uh, you know with load on them and I want to see how much external load they can do or, or hold up against before they start to give way and the reason that is is because when they go to play in their sport when they have to be on the field on the court uh, in the gym wherever and things are happening at really high intensity uh, really high speed and they don't have time to process stuff uh, it's easy to default compensate cheat whatever you want to call it there but kind of lose uh, control of position uh, and, and not necessarily be in the right or ideal uh, place all the time as far as mechanics go <clears throat> and so if I can load up my squat and control position and the more I can the, the, the more weight I can can you know control position against that's the greater capacity I have to exist or resist uh, um, external load uh, from cheating so for example if I'm running really hard and then all of a sudden I got to come to a you know stop real quick and then get out of my cut like there is momentum that I have to control and I have to be able to produce a certain amount of force to control that momentum and then I have to be able to you know uh, get in a position and have that musculature uh, handle that force that external force of that momentum and if it cannot then I'm gonna do something I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna like maybe uh, if I'm going into a cut maybe I, um, <clears throat> I don't cut out I cut up maybe my knees kick back uh, because I don't want to load my quad or load my glue um, <clears throat> and any number of things can happen maybe I drop my shoulders to lower my center of gravity um, so that it's easier for me to control my momentum any number of these things can happen and Lance and I have been talking about these things over the last few days and so while we don't think of the squat necessarily as a speed and agility exercise uh, it indirectly benefits speed and agility in a massive way because again if I can squat well against external load one that shows me that I can load my hips I can control position and then if I on the way up if I you know finish with good hip extension pushing like I'm supposed to uh, I can unload my hips well and I can get to hip extension uh, against an external load uh, which is you know, when we play on the court, momentum is an external load as well. So anyways, just a little uh, insight into, uh, you know, I got a lot of space up in this brain and, and, and uh, uh, that's just dead air. And so that's just, you know, when I look at a squat, when I'm programming, it's not to see, man, we got to get this guy stronger. We got to get a bigger squat. It's how much can this kid or this athlete... Uh, uh, or how well can he hold up against external load. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Just a little insight, a little quick one on a Thursday, and uh, we'll see you guys later. This is Ty Terrell with iFast University.